Hey, Dave from Align Therapy here. I am out on a, on a walk with my dog, actually. But over the past couple of days, I've had a, a research article that just came out in March um, on my mind a little bit. And I thought while I was walking, maybe I would talk about that research article. Um, so I don't know where my dog is. I think she's over there somewhere. But uh, the research article is looking at the addition of PSSE, or Physiotherapeutic Scoliosis Specific Exercise, um, added to nighttime bracing with a Providence brace, and what the effectiveness is for that. Um, it's actually a really cool study. It's uh, there's some some issues with it. It's not a randomized controlled trial. Um, it was looking back at, at those who had been prescribed a nighttime brace. And uh, and so, yeah, the, as far as strength goes, it's not the strongest study, but it looked at uh, Providence bracing, which is, is a nighttime brace. Cool thing about nighttime bracing is you can, they can do more overcorrection. They don't influence uh, the child's day as much. Um, there, you know, there there are a lot of benefits to a nighttime brace, and there's some debate whether or not they're as effective as daytime braces. Whew, this hill is kind of getting to me <laughs> while I'm trying to talk. Um, but that debate aside, you know, I think we'll start to see more nighttime bracing happening um, with kids with mild to beginnings of moderate curves. And a lot of the surgeons that I talk to lately um, are kind of going that direction. There's a benefit. <sighs> okay, got my breath. Um, there's a benefit to um, compliance, you know, when someone has a nighttime brace. So I think there's a lot of potential with that. Um, but back to the research study. The research study looked at 70, I think 74 uh, participants and it looked at, so they were split half and half, those that had nighttime bracing without PSSE and those who had nighttime bracing with PSSE. And they looked at, at a year and at um, when they were finished, which means uh, when they were skeletally mature or when they had surgery, um, what the progression was during that time period. And it found that the control group, so the ones that didn't have PSSE, that they progressed on average seven degrees. So that means some of them progressed more, some of them progressed less. Um, but when they looked at the nighttime bracing with the addition of PSSE, they found that there was no progression in that group. So they found a significant difference where you know, seven, seven degrees, seven degrees isn't huge, but it's also not a, a small progression. Um, so that, that, that's really good that um, the control group progressed and the PSSE group did not. So that shows that adding PSSE, or in this case, they used the Schroth method specifically, um, the addition of that uh, stopped progression, limited progression in those in those kids. So that that's the first thing that's really good about that this study. Um, it also reduced the percentage of those kids who needed to do daytime bracing at a year. So if we're looking at limiting progression to where kids need to be daytime braced, which kind of disrupts their life, it's not the, the greatest. Daytime bracing kind of kind of sucks. Um, if we want the best chance at not progressing to needing a daytime brace, uh, doing PSSE with with nighttime bracing is the best way to, to limit that from happening. Um, when we look into how this study was done, they used the Schroth method, but they used, uh, they had these kids do 15 minutes of Schroth exercises five days a week, which is kind of good to know because I usually tell my patients, five days a week with, with Schroth, but I usually have them do 20 to 30 minutes. So it, it's very similar to what we've been doing in our clinic 
and it seems to be effective but it also seems to be a, a level that's not um, kind of ruling their life I don't want I don't want scoliosis exercise to rule their life but I do want it to be consistent and I do want it to be important and uh, to be done consistently so so yeah this this study goes right along with with how we're practicing Schroth right now um, so I mean the big takeaways from this study uh, that nighttime bracing plus scoliosis specific exercise is more effective than nighttime bracing alone so if you have a child who's nighttime braced I would definitely recommend I'm a little biased I know but I would definitely recommend doing Schroth method exercises along with that um, it daytime bracing is very very hard for a lot of kids compliance goes down they have a lot of stress and anxiety associated with that so if we can get away with nighttime bracing with Schroth method exercises fantastic um, I would highly recommend that um, some people may be looking at the results and thinking well they didn't see a huge reduction in the curve it just shows that the curve didn't progress which which is true this this uh, article is showing that um, but keep in mind they also only did 15 minutes five days a week which which isn't isn't a ton it's not a huge amount I know some Schroth clinics that suggest a lot more time than that doing the exercises um, and so more who knows if we do more dosage if we do more duration of those exercises do we see a reduction in the curve we don't know that study hasn't been done yet um, but also keep in mind that stopping progression of the curve in 37 patients that's successful uh, that's the purpose of bracing that's the purpose of the Schroth method the purpose isn't necessarily to reduce the curve the purpose is to stop progression so if we can stop progression and these kids uh, they were at 20 I think 24 and 25 degrees uh, was the average curve size uh, if we can stop curve progression in that size of a curve uh, that's a huge success if we can keep them out of the moderate range and we can keep them from needing that daytime brace that is a huge success so even though it's not that we saw the curve go away we didn't fix the curve we didn't um, reduce it necessarily stopping progression is a definitely uh, a worthwhile goal and that's the goal that I tell my patients that's if we get a reduction in the curve that's gravy on top but our main goal is to stop progression so um, great study I think we're gonna be seeing more studies on daytime bracing sorry not daytime bracing nighttime bracing um, and I'm actually excited about that if nighttime bracing is as effective as daytime bracing in most patients uh, I think I, I would be totally in support of that um, if the research is supporting that because it's less intrusive on their life and uh, it helps them to be more compliant the more compliance we have, as we see in the research, the better the result and the less progression we, we see in these kids. So that's a quick, although not so quick, um, <laughs> review of this research article. And if you want to see more about different research articles, go to our website, um, aligntherapyutah.com. And under resources, we have a, a research page where we kind of go over the current research and past research for what we do. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can hear more about this kind of stuff. Um, appreciate you watching and until next time.